Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today my craft roulette challenge number 194 entry holiday dreams. So I have a couple of ideas for this one. The colors kind of, I don't know if they threw me as much as I wanted to do more browns and I didn't end up doing more browns for the nest. I did search or shop my already colored stash and so I did bring in the little mouse from Lawn Fawns. A creature was stirring stamp set. And the two little birds that matched, they just happened to match color-wise, I think came from the Big Thanks stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I'm not positive, though. And then I needed a ladder because that was one of the elements that we needed for the parameters. And so I ended up, I thought, I knew that I had a ladder in the one stamp set, and then I did end up bringing in that Christmas mouse, I don't remember what that one was called, um, stamp set. And of course, the Christmas Dreams stamp set for the tree to kind of help build my little scene. So I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do this one. I did bring in the little cat from the tiny Halloween set. And I wanted to add him as an ornament, but my tree was a little bit, like the whole cat as an ornament. But my tree was a little bit small for the size of the cat. There was multiple ways I could have done it, but because I was using the little mouse, I kind of thought it would be kind of cheeky to put like little cat face ornaments on the Christmas tree. Now, I had originally only planned on doing the one because I figured it would meet that random parameter. And then I was like, well, I already had my mask kind of cut out. And so I was like, eh. It's not too hard to move things around just a little bit and add some another two cat faces on here. So I might have had to move my masks just a little bit because I wasn't quite on. I was lazy masking. Let's be real. And so I was trying to just kind of get it to work without having to actually do a lot of, you know, fussy cutting. I don't like fussy cutting. It's not my thing. Well, I have a brother's candy coat. So once I had my little cat faces on there and or cat ornaments on there, I needed to match my color match what I had already colored. And so I knew that my mouses were colored per one of my past cards. So I brought out my color sheets. It's using the Ahuhu bullet nib markers. I do have all of those on my blog if you are interested in the actual color chart sheets there. They're on the right hand side on the Uhuhu color blend tab and that's where I kind of make sure to upload all of them so you don't have to go back and find the past past cards color sheets. So I'm coming in with my green 47 and 40, 47 when I was my lighter one, my darker one was 43. It takes a little bit to get a blend on that one. It's just a matter of going over it a couple of times to get it to blend well. And then my blue tone here is 63, and then I want to say it's 67. And so I just went in with the dark one for my drop shadow on my little ornaments there. Keeping my color tone fairly simple. Because the color theme was nest, I wanted more browns, but the green was kind of the trees or if they're using grass to build their nest. And then, of course, brown because the little twigs and or dead grasses to build the nest. I did bring in some grays. I figure you would find gray on, you know, things have gray tones in nature. And so I brought in the grays. I did bring in a little bit of orange for the one cat. I made him a calico cat. The orange probably wasn't very well. Bird beak maybe would be in a nest. I guess it works. So for my background, I had kind of hemmed and hawed about doing an outside scene with this one, and I opted to come in with a stencil and do some kind of like wallpaper. So of course the project is supposed to be square, so I wanted to bring in multiple square elements, and so I brought in this square stencil. It was a freebie from one of those magazines that you pick up at the craft store that has like free stamps and door stencils in. I don't remember whose name was on this one. I think it was like there was a set of four stencils 
and or stamp sets in one. It's old. It worked. I just moved it around to get my pattern to be big enough for my little square. My square ends up being four, I think it's less than four and a quarter, but my finished card ends up being four and a quarter by four and a quarter. If that helps, I don't know. I'm using some stitch, I think it's wonky stitched stack from MFT for my square there. And then of course I'm bringing in some Echo Park Lumberjack paper pack in the six by six to give me a wood floor bringing in some more of those brown tones so I just use a top folding a2 size card and then cut it down to size so using that bottom one for me works a lot better than butting it up against the top and trying to push and hold it up there at the same time it tends to slide on me and so I like that bottom bumper on that templates trimmer it gives me a lot straighter cuts than yeah the regular old guillotine with just the one bottom edge I did bring in a scalloped film or scalloped frame stack from Lafon to kind of frame my image this part wasn't needed I just felt it needed I don't know something a little extra and I could pop that one up and give myself a little bit of dimension on my card without a lot of extra effort. Plus my little square there might be done in some metallic cardstock. So it has a little bit of shimmer and shine and it just kind of adds to that holiday vibe, I guess. So I'm gonna put my base onto my card front and then I will build my scene from here. Why did I do it this way? Because I wasn't positive if all of my birds were gonna be on my actual seam card here but I wanted them to be fully on my card slip if that makes sense so if I chose to let them hang off they I kind of knew where my boundaries were I don't know I don't think I ended up going that route but that was kind of my thought process while I was building it so I did pop up my tree as well to match the height of my frame I did put my mouse on top of the ladder and Put it in the background so it's behind the tree and then went from there i did not pop up my bird that is on the ground even though it kind of looks like it's probably in front of the tree i maybe should have popped that one up but i was being lazy i did pop up my birdie that is on up in the sky flying around helping to decorate the tree i have thought about bringing in those cute little ornaments from the stamp set Christmas dreams, but I was like, eh, that means I have to color and cut something also, and I really didn't want to do that. So I brought in some extra diamond dots from, I think it was from a butterfly I did, but I knew they were like the perfect shade of blue, and they kind of have that metallic shimmer to them or iridescent, I think iridescent coating to them. So I added one to the little birds legs so it looks like he's carrying it to add it to the tree and of course the little mouse has one in her hand she's adding to the tree and the other one has one in his wing so he can add it to the tree so you know me and my threes so one mouse two birds kind of tongue-in-cheek because kitty cats on the christmas tree is ornaments predator and prey so yeah i might have been feeling a little bit snarky when i created this one just a teeny tiny bit I thought it was hilarious. You know, the mice and the cats, if they're like my cats, they tend to eat the mice and the birds. And Porky likes to eat squirrels. Don't ask. Um, yeah, we don't talk about it because my husband gets mad. <sighs> I'm like, well, they're outside cats. You get what you get. Farm cats. I free stamped my sentiment on this one and I second guessed myself of going back over it with the clear one and lining it up. I just brought in that fine liner. That's what it is for and filled in the rest of the letters that didn't stamp the first time through. I probably should have put it in the misty, but everything was still wet and I was not waiting for it to dry. I was, you know, craft roulette needs to be done in a very small time frame. That's, that's how I do my craft roulette projects. They need to be done now and not you know overthought so I will go over the parameters here for you 
So it is a square project with multiple squares on my card. I am bringing in the nest colors for blue sky, the yellow either for the beak or the sun, and then of course the green and the browns. And my ladder for my element and the random was add a cat. Well, I added three little cats. So I hope you go check out Crafty That. It's always a good time with Mary Fungan. Bye.